and we're live. I saw earlier that like a group of uh, veterans called the Pineapple Express have gone into Afghanistan and they are rescuing uh, former translators and stuff. They've saved 500 people so far. <laughs> nice. Really? They've just gone in on their own, like funding their own like fucking mission. That's awesome. But sad that it was required, but awesome that they're stepping up. Yeah, I, I guess. Like, like it's weird to me that like we don't have that seems like a special forces thing that we I really don't like it when they don't take care of those translators. Cause like yes. cause you know there was some point when 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 some American in uniform was like, no, no, trust us, we got you. Like, like, we'll protect you. We need you to help us. Are you sure you'll protect me? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Donald Trump himself just I just talked to him. He's, he knows you. He he likes you a lot. <laughs> Donald Trump would run with the like, story too. What's yeah. your name again? <laughs> I just uh, my mood. My mood. I, excellent trainer. Ex one of the best translators in all of Afghanistan. <laughs> now he's just being electrocuted or boiled in oil or something. I can't get past my bias on this topic sometimes. Like, like, so my Facebook feed, I mention it from time to time. They're absolutely outraged that we left any translators behind, etc. They didn't have shit to say when Trump abandoned the Kurds in Syria, right? 40,000 people, they were our allies for all this time. We told them that we had their back, that we were going to help them win this war with the might of the American military. And then we were just like, you know what? Psych. Nah. Yeah, psych, we're out. And we just let, did we leave military equipment behind? Fuck yeah, we did. Helicopters, refrigerators, camps, everything we left it behind. You're welcome. Not crickets, crickets when it happened in Syria. It happens in Afghanistan. It's the 24, just nonstop talking. About, Can you believe we left a disabled helicopter behind? Yeah, all these Humvees. Yeah, yeah, all right, we did it, we did it. It sucks, I don't like it, I get it. I, I'm upset with Biden over it. But you fucking suck Trump's dick over it. You know, like, why do you have nothing to say when he did it? Trump tweeted many times about how we needed to pull af out of Afghanistan. Didn't do it. Biden pulls out in his first year. And all you can talk about is how he didn't pull out the right way. The right way. Trump didn't do it. He didn't fucking didn't do it. So, like, I, I don't know. How do we measure these? He messed <laughs> it up. Biden messed it up, I'm trying to say. Uh, right. oh, I, sure. could, I could acknowledge I that. better. But we should have aborted the war. That's should he have, have just done. kicked the can down the road like Trump did? Maybe that was the strategy. Why didn't Trump do it in his first year like Biden did? No, I'm glad we're out. I'm glad we're be out. out. The, it'd be 10 years later. We'd be in the same position. Yeah. Or 10 Some, years ago. Something had, right? had to be done. Obama could have pulled out and it wouldn't have made much difference. And, like, and as did, much as I feel like we did a poor job getting out, it was, I don't know what the word is, but. We did get to see those people falling off the aircraft. Oh you don't get to see God. that. You don't get to see that that every day. Like, like I feel like if we pull out of there smoothly, you you don't have people hanging on. Like, like that's just like a perfect. <laughs> it's just like like we're leaving, and they're literally clawing at the planes. No, well, no, that was like a seventeen year old, right? Oh, like that makes you worse. I didn't player. know that. He he was like a soccer star, or something like that. Seventeen was one of the. Ones. That's awful. Well, the it, worst part about it is the fact that, that like, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that there was some very loose statistic about how there were not really any literate um, uh, taught women in the country at the point of entry. And then there was something like 60 percent last year were given or like had some level of like literacy and, literacy. and edu education. Huge improvement. The very small silver lining of an aggressively wasteful, you know, occupation. But like that part, you know, it, so it, it does suck to see, to know. I think they just banned male teachers teaching women at any point in any capacity. So and it's I think the like, reverse also. Probably and they banned women men. on TV. Like you can no longer yeah. have reporters and stuff. Like the, it. That's pretty that's progressive. Who could have seen get this rid of happening? The mansplaining. Get rid of the man. <laughs> Strong point. <laughs> like all the all the actual doctors there, like they just like cool. I guess I'll go fuck myself because like you know I'm I got a vagina, can't do the job that I am well trained for. It's just yeah. yeah they're letting Gross. they're letting them leave. Like like they they they're letting anybody that wants to leave leave. I, the Taliban is. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, like like, like that. the Taliban. Look, the Taliban seem like a bunch of villains to me, but they don't seem like. They're not mustache ISIS. twiddling 
villains as, as much as as much as you might think. You know, we we paint everyone with the same brush, right? It's either like white hats or black hats, but there's definitely some sort of gray area gray in between hat. that they clearly fall into. Again, like I said, these aren't good people. These are our enemies. But the fact that they're not like just lining people up in the streets right now by the hundreds and hundreds and murdering them. I mean, that being said, I've seen them line a few people up in the streets and murder them. Like right. but they said they offered amnesty, but it doesn't seem they appear to offer amnesty to everyone. They admit that the country that was taken over was in economic ruins. No one wanted to work with them. The Taliban were the bad guys. And now they want to reform their image. It seems like they want the reformed image and they're willing to do some things, but they're not going to adopt Western culture or anything right. like that or value. Yeah, well, rebranding. That's all. That, well, rebranding. but with the rebranding comes a little bit of like. What's the Taliban's new logo? Change. I'll decide new how Taliban. I feel about it. <laughs> the I need Taliban on web 3.0. <laughs> <laughs> Taliban 2.0. <laughs> we yeah, can I don't know. I, like, like they were I Indian in that. Accent, that, that, that was Indian. I don't know how to do an Arabic accent. Not even how to, how to begin it. There's some, there's some <laughs> going on there that, that I'm just lo- missing out on. But, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess they're trying to reform their the image. End. And with that comes a little bit of actual reform. Hopefully it sticks. A little less murder, maybe? Right? A little less. Just, just the right amount of murder, I hope. Oh, thank them. Just a sprinkle wow. of murder. How kind. <laughs> How kind. Uh, I'm just glad it's over. I, I, like, I was just so sick and tired of hearing about it. I, and it's a shame that, like, somehow we managed to lose, what, what was it, 13 more servicemen, like, on the last week of the whole thing. That's a fuck up. That's a huge fuck up. Like, like, that's shocking that that happened. And, it, it? It, you know, they, they keep talking about, I didn't look into it much. I don't watch the news at all because it's bullshit. Um, I, I mostly read stuff online. But, like, I heard that there were 13 servicemen who died. And it was different branches. It was uh, maybe a, an Army soldier, um, a couple of Air Force guys maybe, or Navy guys. And then um, I don't remember how it was all broken up. But in any case, like, I heard that. Do you know how many Afghan, Afghans died in that bombing? It's like 130 or something. Yeah. The, the, we, drone, we drone did a, had a drone strike uh, recently that killed like a translator, like three kids. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> we it's, did? It's, yeah. Yes. Little it, kids. It, like liter- like two, four that. years, two, four, and six. Like just, you know, it's like not, it is a meme. And but this like, is super recent, like August. Yeah, like last like, week or Last something. week, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> that sucks. Yeah, I saw I saw like the Pentagon like briefing. He's he's like, yes, we're looking into that. That's that's um, we are looking into it. That's yeah, uh, that that's is quite, uh, not not what anybody was intending. I'm sure. Like, mm. Yeah, you know they never admit fault, but at the same time they're like, that's concerning. Those reports of children being killed. Those are those reports <laughs> of children being. being they're, they're like, no, no, he's here's the kid. Gets... He's very dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like the head's falling off. Like, like how do I know is, this is even a kid? It has no head. They like pull yeah. some shrapnel out. It says USA on it. Like, no, <laughs> definitely you did this. Like, yeah, like, and we got to consider all options here, all <laughs> although, different viewpoints. Although what happened was they were bombing some bad guys. The bad guys had a truck full of explosives outside, and that exploded and killed the children. That's what actually happened. Oh no! Like, like I don't the think drum- that transfers. I think it's still their fault. <sighs> Yeah, I, that's kind of what I thought too. That's like, like they were they were literally killing bad guys who had bombs, and those bombs went off and created the collateral damage. Like, 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 because it seems like when we do stuff, not that we don't often we, not that the U.S. doesn't often like accidentally drone strike the wrong people. Like when Obama wiped out that wedding party years ago. Ugh. But yeah, if that I was push like, a domino over, I'm only responsible for that first, for that very domino. first one. Right? <laughs> All the others, <laughs> they're not me. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> How could I have known that shooting? That's, pretty, that's a pretty good one. I like that's that. not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> Come on. I didn't think about that one. Why am I the one defending Biden here? <laughs> uh, no, I've liked how Biden's handled this whole thing. I weekend really have. at Bernie's. I, I, I thought there was I no winning solution. I was like, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and nitpick the uh, greater details of somebody following somebody else's plan. Because it was like, inherently trump's plan he followed it like i'm not i i do i don't fucking know what the best idea was i'm happy we're out and i'm sorry it went so poorly but like breakups but they're messy always and you know just because out. yeah but at least we're out and i'm like eh, okay I, I think we're all i'm not talking to page. tammy anymore for a little bit at we're least gonna we're out 
The breakup was messy. Fuck, I love it. This is perfect. Yeah. Fuck Tammy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly, Let's, I'm uh, never talking to her again. <laughs> now, we can, now we can sit back and like rebuild our military a little bit, I hope. Oh, my and, God. And then find God, somewhere else finally. to invade. We need to find we need somewhere to else. Rebuild our yeah, what, what are we going to dominate next for the we, for the next we, thirty years? We need a new country to attack. Like, 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 like I don't. Let's I don't, pick one. South America. I want to go to South America. It's, the I, weather's I'm nice. In Mexico, because we could keep the Mexico land. would be great. Let's just push the border nice back like a hundred miles. Like nothing crazy. Yeah. Right, it, dude. If it's you look twice. at the map, we could take Baja, Mexico, I think, and it's just yeah. a little bit more border. But now we have that little coast, and that's just now southern Southern California. But that's that much less wall we have to build, right? Can you get that whole little strip? That like, is that what you're talking about? That little peninsula? Yeah, that's Baja. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Take. Oh, yeah, oh the yeah. Then you get that whole like like isthmus or whatever that that inlet of water. Like like yep. oh, that's a lot of coast. Can yeah. we pull up a map, Zach, to show Baja California and how just. What's that sea called? Like like that that inland. I meant to say Baja, area. Mexico. There's a name for it. The um, Gulf of California. It might between be Mexico Gulf, and Baja California. It might be. Yeah, but I would I, like. I think it is what would they Baja. do? Like like if, if we were just like, if we were just like, we're taking it. There, <laughs> there. Do you see? Do you see that strip hanging down next so to Mexico to that clearly looks Come like on. it should be American? Yeah. Uh huh. According to me. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like American me. That's that's just that Western like, Florida. You know what Can that you looks zoom like? In, Zach? West. That looks like West Coast Florida. <laughs> Look how small, like a, a little section. It just... Are you guys? Do you guys not know where the Dominican Republic is? I've been there. No, we're talking the about VR, taking. Yeah. Uh, we're I've been there, but I'm not sure I can find it on a map. <laughs> but... Baja? Yeah. Baja. We're, 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 we're talking, talking about Baja. where we should aim the U.S. South of LA. Next, we're, we're and I'm making the, a pitch for Baja, California. Oh, um, no, because the 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 surf over there sucks and the beaches are all rocky. So but that's oh, we'll cool. clean it right up. We'll make them do it. <laughs> can we, Jesus, can we can take we... Cancun too for like the spring break? Yeah. Cancun <laughs> sucks. It's so Just gross. We'll clean that up too. We, do you know what I, right no, I want to take Miami? I want to take Peru. Peru's beautiful. Where is Peru? It's, it's south of, it's on the, yep. Dragged. Oh, it's see, not. it should be more adjacent. Like Cuba looks like it should be part of America. Wait, no, no, no. So we're guys. Baja, we're being California. nuts. Okay. Take Vancouver and all of British Columbia. That place is gorgeous, oh, and no, it's no, not even real Canada. In global warming. Yeah, and also like that Bay Area. It's so great. It's you know, or just take Toronto. Take the entire twenty percent of Scotia. Canada where people live. No, fuck Nova Scotia. What <laughs> is like, that take... parallel? Is it the forty ninth parallel, the thirty eighth parallel? What is yeah, that? Yeah, all of that twenty or tw the, all. It's like eighty percent of Canadians live under that line. Yeah, just just common. Wh whatever that. it is, if that's the thirty eighth parallel, make it the fortieth. Just bump it right. up a couple. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, a couple parallel. Right. Just push them up into the. I, give us, I want all the Great Lakes. I just want the lakes to ourselves. That's I want the I want. the socialized healthcare. <laughs> can we get their healthcare? Like, 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 that's can what we, we should do. Like, like, like that's what the Romans would do, right? When the Romans yeah. would would be like, all right, we're going to go on this. We're going to go to like Carthage or whatever. We're going to conquer the Carthaginians. They wouldn't just be like, all right, we got them. Now we're heading home. They'd be like, we got them. And this is all the shit we took from them. Like, and they like parade it through the streets and like hand it out to the. Every and they Roman take the gets, smartest people. They the every Carthage, Roman yeah. gets a little gets this much money now because we conquered the Carthaginians. Oh, and we also took all these elephants from them. We're gonna slaughter them while you watch for funsies. Like, <laughs> if we did that with countries, like if we went to like Africa and conquered a country and like brought some lions and zebras back, murdered them. In Detroit, like just set them free in Detroit. Honestly, like, like set them free in Detroit would be outstanding. <laughs> it, it, like, 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 honestly, it would calm Detroit down if you if you if you release some lions and tigers and shit. Like, it would thirty be years from now, be like, why does Raleigh have so many peacocks? Oh, funny story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where peacocks come from, but conquer that too. Yeah, where do peacocks come from? I don't know. Uh, but wait, we wait, 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 wait. Take a guess. Yeah, everybody guess. We had peacocks on Cisco's campus for some reason. We've got them in Florida. Do you? Yeah, but they're well, not Florida native. Has stuff like they Florida's like. From. It doesn't We've also surprise got tigers you. and yeah, pythons. Yeah. And shit. 